Okay, next on this sculpture, we need to attach the back of the head. As you can see on this one, I've got a couple of bolts coming through, which then come out the back. This is the head. Oh, this is the back of the skull, or back of the head. So I've got two bolts that run sideways there. So I'm gonna weld a bolt and another bolt there. And then when I've got those in place, I can line them up and drill holes in the back of this, get a couple of nuts on and hold the back of the head on. So that's the next job. Okay, so we've got this pitching forwards. I'm going to have to find some way of stopping it from pitching forwards. I'm not quite sure how yet. Um, I think it might even just be a case of a bit of wire inside that comes up in a loop and just pushes against the inside of the back of the head. And that's probably going to be the solution. So I've got some stiff wire that I can use. So we'll have a loop around there, it'll come out and across here and then back and then go around in a loop in the other one. So let's go and sort that out. Okay, we've got some wire. Let's give this a go. It's a bit of welder wire, so I don't know, it might be too stiff. I have got other wire, but I'll try this welder wire first. I need a wire that's fairly stiff, not too soft, because otherwise it won't do the job. But it just depends on whether this is going to be suitable. Mm, I don't know. Especially you need to find a way of getting it so it's tight enough that it doesn't move around. Right, and then make it. I might be able to bend it into place now, we'll see. Oh, it's actually looking better. Yeah, it's looking better. I mean, it doesn't have to perfectly line up, but it just need, does need to line up a little. So the problem i got now is that it just really feels like it's just positioned wrongly. Um, oh, wait a minute, I might have put it in the wrong hole. Right, that's better. Um, I would say... I think it needs to go in a little more. But apart from that, I think we're looking good. I'll get those off, bring them in. Okay, so we've now added in, let me something, find something to point with. We've now added in that nut weld it onto there, then this bolt goes into the nut, and then that goes onto there. What that allows it to do is it allows it to pretty much rotate in any, any direction I want. What I've built now <coughs> is the beginnings of um, the control method. So, what we've got here are three discs. Uh, I don't think for this other, this new sculpture that I'm going to need more than three discs. Um, let's quickly grab that. So we've really pretty much got three different rates of movement. <laughs> we need the head to move, which will be this one. We also need the head to move this way so that's two discs and then the arm to come up and down and that's one disc so we've got the three control discs that will have dips on them which will then move uh, levers and bars in the right direction so this is the casing so when we look at this we have the casing here which is these two out outer pieces then using spacers and bolts we have three discs that go inside one, two, three. 
that will then move them in the different places, uh, and then I'll mount the um, cogs, sorry, not very fluent today, the cogs on the outside. So it's now okay, so let's put this together. A little stiff, but I think a little bit of WD-40 and that might turn quite nicely. And then this will, well, let's do the same with that, drill that, uh, weld that, clean it and re-drill it. And then that will have this rod to go through it, which will then have a cog on it that activates that, the same as we've got on here. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, quite pleased with this so far. It's looking good. Okay, so the first job today has been to um, get a rod. This is a three mil rod from a garden rake, um, but all the rods from it are really nicely three mil. So this one's held in place with a grub screw. Uh, what I've done is I've um, put a couple of three mil nuts into my drill on the end of a bolt and then run it against a sander to get them small enough that they fit nicely in there and the three mil bolts obviously fit on a three mil bar. So I slide them inside so I know that that is completely uh, central, the same as that. So this now will be going here. Um, so the next job will be to drill these holes in the right place for this to fit um, and power that when you wind a handle. So that's the next job is a hole through there at exactly the right distance for this, these teeth, the teeth on this to fit the teeth on that. I hope you were able to see all that. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. So what I've just done is I've drilled the holes. I've put this rod through here. Um, and then put a nut, a washer and a nut on and then welded the end of the nut. So now when you turn it, it turns quite nicely. So I'm not going to actually add the handle and these extra bits until the whole thing is mounted. Um, and I need to do some more. I will carry on adding everything, testing it and that, but just with, and turning that. Then at the last minute, add on the handle. So next, the job is to mount this. Here somewhere looks good there uh, which I think is just basically some four mil bolts and some nuts that run the other side and should just be able to get some four mil nuts on the other side that won't hit this plate well they haven't on the other one um, I was saying that on the other one there's quite a little quite a bit more gap so if you have a look at this there there's quite a bit of gap between there and there um, for it to run, whereas on this one there's much less gap 
that, but I should still be able to get some four mil nuts on that side, so that's fine. So the next job, drill this and get this mounted. Okay, so all I've done is drilled a couple of holes through, a couple of holes through here as well, made sure that the nuts or the ends of the bolts aren't touching this end cam plate. And um, now, of course, I can just turn this and it turns quite nicely. So the next job will be to make the mechanism that moves the head and moves the arm. Uh, and then I can bring them back to these cams, grind the cams down in the right places to then get the movement that I want. So what I've done since I was on this last is I've put, um, I've welded a rod onto here to extend the height of this. I've then um, welded two bars in place and put this rod here, as you can see it clearly, this rod that comes through into the hole down here. So there'll be an arm come off probably this one here, uh, which will come across here and push a, a lever up and down, which will then connect to the underneath of this and pull this up and down, which then of course moves the head. So the next thing is how do I get the head to tilt when it's turned up? So what I've come up with so far, whether I'm gonna stick with it, I don't know, I've just got to try. So the head comes down like this, and then this lever here turns and then has to turn back again, like that. Um, so what I've got just tentatively at the moment is I'm going to try with this rod, the idea that if we turn it like that, that it turns and then turns back again the other way. Now, the problem with this, of course, is that as this moves up and down, it's got to move to within this, uh, this groove that I've made, you know, this piece that I've made. And if it misses it, then when this turns, it's not going to turn the head. So that is my current issue. Um, obviously the other thing is, is that if that turns when it's up, when it comes down, it's not, we're definitely not going to go to into this shape here to turn it. So. There's a few issues with this at the moment, but I'm gonna, you know, all I can do with this is just try it each time and see what happens. And if I'm wrong, then I make it another way, you know. Um, but yeah, the, the main problem with turning this is, of course, is the fact that it's moving through this dimensions, these dimensions. So that's what's next. Drill a hole, get this in, and see if I can line this up so that when it comes down, I can turn the head. Right. What I decided to do was because the with me moving this up and down on my hands all the time, it was coming to a different position. I decided to put the controls in for this motion now, and that way, every time it stops, it stops in exactly the same place. So what I've done is I've used the handle of a spoon, I think it was, um, to run through here, drilled a slot through here, made up a little bracket out of the handle of another spoon um, and then bolted it on. So this, for the look of it, is gonna line up with the outermost of these um, cams. Uh, but what it, what it does, it means that there is a very, very specific movement. It stops at exactly the same place every time. And when it does that, it means that I can then uh, calculate what to do with you know uh, how to connect to the rest of it and get that to move in the different in the directions that I need. So I'm hoping this will have made the next stage easier because I'm still scratching my head on how to get this head to tilt. Um, but as I say, the, the main problem is is that um, it moves through that distance, uh, so I've got to try and somehow get it at a certain point and make it turn. And this is yeah, this is what's. Uh, was turning out to be quite a difficult part of it, but I will get there. So that's it for today, that's where I got to.